This podcast is brought to you by listeners like you through Patreon and Coffee.com. Thank you. We're also brought to you by Libris Arcana. Stay tuned during this podcast for more information and promo codes. doing how is the avalanche i'm i'm gonna check how the avalanche is doing the avalanche is being held back but just barely um actually i need to see if the breath weapon recharges uh for mr king of the mountain and it doesn't oh no so, um, Clover, so you're hanging off the back of the King of the Mountain. Are, are you oh, yeah. doing any, anything else? I, she's so small, I'm worried if she jumps off that she might die. She's so tiny. I don't, there's not really a whole lot she can do. R- remember, it doesn't matter the size of the character, just what level you're at. So you're at twelve. You're you're pretty good at doing a lot of things. Okay, uh, but she's. I, I'm just gonna say this, but if that ice wall does break, it's gonna unleash all that like held up potential energy with the avalanche. I'm and... staying with the dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I just didn't want you to do anything like too rash and be like, yeah, I'm gonna like jump down and stab. No, it. that's kind of why I was staying up there. <laughs> okay. Natalia, you're up a tree. Mm. Would melting more of the ice help? I yeah, it could possibly help. How far away from me is the wall that uh, King of the Mountain created? Well, where can you place your attack? Like, what's the maximum distance? Uh, one hundred and fifty feet. That's probably the uh, distance it's at. Okay. So I would like to place it on the far side of the wall so I don't melt the wall. Okay, cool. And I am, yeah, I'm going to use my searing sunbolt. I assume ice can't save. I assume, well, unless it's elemental, but yeah, we're not dealing with that stuff right now. Okay. All right. Please, dice, don't let me down. Uh, That's 30 points of radiant damage. Oh, that's awesome. I'm starting to run low on key points, but that's fine. So... You do way more damage than you did last time. And you start seeing steam just start happening, and you stop hearing the cracking of the ice wall. And it seems like you are making things warm enough that that snow is melting and not raging. Wait, so it stopped? It looks like it. Uh, you can give me, uh, like, a nature or, uh... <laughs> uh... Or? Because um, an or would be good right now. Investigation. I have the same modifier for both. That's a five. That's a five? I You don't hear the horrible raging noise or the horrible cracking noise, so... Maybe? Well, I think everything's gonna be fine now, you guys. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
You can wow. do one too, Glover, if you wish. Ah, uh, sure, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay, wow. Okay. That's even Yeah, it's a very it's, intelligent group. It is <laughs> I there's steam, right? If there's steam, there's no more snow. He's gonna yell at them to get back up in the air. Get up here. Now. How? The dragons, the other ones. She's gonna yell to the you know, Dragon King dude or whatever. The Mountain King kind of gives you the side eye. I can pick her up. And okay, but my friend. Gil. And oh. Natalia. Both of them. Your friend Gil is on my pets. We'll get how high are they up, though? Are they safe? Uh, oh, yeah, they're they're safe. Okay, yeah, as long as they're high up, that's fine. Yeah, they can fly up to 80 feet a movement turn, so they're, they're fine. Uh, yeah, uh, the King of Mountain comes and picks uh, Natalia up. Well, not Thank literally. Thank you, King like, of the Mountain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the pleasure is all mine. I think we did it, you guys. I think we saved the town. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. <laughs> that was very stressful. Mm -hmm. But we and, did good. And that's when you hear the ice will break. Oh no. Oh no. And you see that not like it's not as bad as it was. The avalanche does stop before it gets to where the fe festival was taking place. But you slowed it down enough that it doesn't destroy all the villages. Well, we saved most of the village. Most hmm. of it. Okay. Um, you all survived the avalanche. You saved the towns or the villages from the avalanches. Uh, yeah, so you've done some good. Uh, you freed the elk so they can roam and uh, the villages can hunt the elk at their leisure, not go, uh, not starve during the winter. Yay! Should we? Uh, ask some of the villagers to help us get stuff to bring some of the dead ones back for me. Um, Mir and first one have have it covered. They are okay. carrying these giant elk, uh, two by two. Uh, you guys have dragons, so uh, it, it, you're kind of covered with uh, carrying capacity. <laughs> We you should share some elk with the dragon, though, I feel. I mean, that's, that's up to Gil. Um, yeah. So let's roleplay this out. But I'm going to say, uh, you guys returned to that field where, uh, you know, you were light lighting lanterns and stuff. It is now very much, like, early morning. Uh, you do see people down below as you fly in. And you notice that all the villagers run away. Yeah, that's not an unreasonable reaction. Gil just stoically just gets off. I think it was on the first one, right? Uh, yeah. You're you're on whichever one you want to be on. All right, I'll just say he's on the first one, and he's just stoically getting off. And I. Uh, the first one kind of does that dog thing and nuzzles you. He just calmly pets him. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I eat a deer? Uh, 
would you mind sharing? How about I give y'all both a leg? For now. Um, he looks very pleased with the proposition of getting a piece. And he just kind of chops off the legs off of one of them. You are so nice. <laughs> Aww. And despite you chopping off the legs off of one of them, uh, Mirror and First One still fight. Because that's what they do over meat, always. <laughs> and uh, they're... You kind of get this feeling that they're super, super dumb. And then at this point he's clapping and he's like, Hey, you two, get along with each other. They tuck their tails between their legs and kind of flatten their wings. And they they look like they've just been scolded by a dad. And he smiles warmly. He's like, there's no need to fight between y'all. There's enough for right now. Sorry, I just thought someone's going to be totally screaming at this podcast going, Why are you degrading dragons? <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, the other two, uh, Clover and Natalia, get off of um, King of the Mountain. King of the Mountain looks and sees the villagers are like quite afraid. So he decides to polymorph into a human even though that probably does not help. Well, we saved the village. Now what? I was going to travel with you. See the world with you. Oh, okay. And but I, I don't know where I'm going next. Well, wherever that will be, I will follow. And he um, grabs your paws and looks at you in your eyes, kind of with this, like, wonderlust. And uh, you spoke to me earlier about learning new things. I have been on that mountain for so long. I forgot that there is an outside world. Well, there is a lot to see. We're going to pause things for a moment and have a word from our sponsors. This podcast is brought to you by listeners like you through Patreon and Coffee.com. Thank you. We're also brought to you by Libris Arcana. Do you like role-playing games, but you have no dice? Are you a dice dragon and just need a horde dice? Libris Arcana has you covered. Libris Arcana offers both a monthly and quarterly subscription to get dice. Yeah, that's right. They send you dice monthly, or every three months. They also sell individual dice sets and great leather protective book covers for your gaming manuals. Go to www.librisarcana.com That's L-I-B-R-I-S-A-R-C-A-N-A dot com to find out more. And if you use the promo code SWORDFALLFAN, you get a discount. Look in the description below for more details. And now back to the story. You know, I wonder. I need to drop off, uh, after all this, I probably need to drop off some of the money to my family. Would y'all mind possibly seeing them? Yeah, you can have uh, um, 
some help? Do you need some money or something? Or are you good with the elk stuff? Uh, I'm fine as long as I um, collect the money from the elk. I'm just needing to give some of the money to my family. Well, if they're paying us for the thing, I don't need money for anything. I just like to travel. You can always have my share. Hmm. I don't need money from the elk, but I would be happy to help you take them home. Hmm. And I was talking to the dragons as well. I mean, why not? I, mean, I don't uh, think the dragons sh should stay looking like dragons, though, because people would be afraid of them. Uh, yes, and uh, my wife would probably want to attack me. Um... But yeah, maybe come with us. She's very good at cooking and whatnot. I guess uh, I am too to a fault, but yeah. Can they all take humanoid form or just that one? I will turn my pets back into dogs. And uh, like before, he kind of says something and waves his hands and... Uh, their uh, bodies shrink, they lose their wings, they look like just giant uh, dogs. <gasps> Can I sit on one of them? Are they giant? They're really big? Yeah, they're like uh, Great Dane or massive size. Like, they're Ooh. they're huge. She's gonna sit on one and pat its head. And, um, not knowing it's a dog, but, uh, it starts kind of wagging its uh, tail so much that it starts kind of doing the butt wiggle. Aw, she gives it a big hug. She's super happy. <laughs> uh, the King of the Mountain smiles, and... Um... Oh gosh, is he even clothed? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't it think isn't. about that. I just kind oh. of assumed he was. I, I'm Aww. just going to assume he was, just to keep it PG-13. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, okay. That moment yeah. when you actually have to think about that for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, has, has he just been nude all this time? It's like, like the last yes. unicorn where she's just And then just, we're like, just naked. all acting natural. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So, should we, like, rig up a sled or something to drag the deer back, or are we going to sell them here and just take the money back, or what? They got big carriages or something, or? Oh, the idea was to sell them here. Yeah, unless he wants to bring some home for some, like, weird elk stew thing. Um, the one that I chopped off the arms, well, the legs off of, we could use for stew. And the three we could sell off. These are very big deer. Mm-hmm. Okay, we should go find a butcher or something. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go look for a butcher or something. Okay, give me an intelligence, uh, not, not intelligence, uh, investigation. Uh, let's see. All of you can do an investigation, who's ever is can looking just for. Can you ask someone where the mayor is? Or whatever he was? Uh, since you arrived by dragons, there's really no one outside at the moment. Oh. Yeah, uh, villagers and dragons. <laughs> I would get uh, it. I got a four. <laughs> Got a four. Yeah, I'm gonna say like you walk into a town. Oh, let's see what Clover gets. Ooh. <laughs> well, dang. Uh, Clover, oh, uh, what kind of dealings were you doing with your uh, caravan to know where the wow. local butcher's at? I mean, someone lived here already. Uh -huh. um, we we figured out from the last time. Or, or traveled here before, so they could have just told her. Someone who traveled with her. She's like, yeah, I, I know where it is. Yeah. Um, and uh, King of the Mountain agrees to just stay behind and protect uh, your prize. 
and um, also to watch, you know, Mirror and First One because they they get rowdy. So y'all go to the butcher, butcher, butcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she just goes, "Oh, by the way, sorry, I almost killed you guys. I didn't know that was gonna happen." It's okay. We all make mistakes. Eh, not the first time. You guys are really forgiving, huh? Hmm. Well, I wasn't hurt, so I'm fine. But I would understand if Gil was a little more upset. I don't know. Like I've said, I've been in more hunting accidents than you can count. So. I'll make it up to you somehow. Ah, uh, no need. But thank you. Great, let's go. Sorry, I'm just like not trying to laugh too loud. Not the first time. What the hell, Gil? <laughs> no, <laughs> what is Gil been like, doing? It, it's it's like implying, yeah, this this isn't the first time someone released horrible like giant animals from a pen and I've got trampled by them. <laughs> he is a seasoned hunter. He's seen things. <laughs> hey, I could die like in two seconds. Who knows? I mean, he lives in a town full of these people, barbarians and whatnot, and I imagine he does a lot of hunting. All them uh, barbarian elves and druid elves and whatever else is there. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you're on this side of the country. It This podcast is powered by listeners like you. Thanks. Please like, comment, rate, share, and subscribe wherever you can. Consider supporting us through Patreon, Coffee.com, or by hitting the listener support button on our Anchor.fm page. Follow and interact with us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Discord. For all these links, look in the description below. If you liked our podcast, consider listening to these other great podcasts. So gather your muskets, gather your spears, we'll plunder the shores of Calcineer. Come all ye sailors and scallywags, and join the crew of Flintlocks and Fireballs, a D&D podcast following a band of privateers sailing the seas of Napoleonic Calcinia. Catch us at flintlocksandfireballs.com every Tuesday at 7pm GMT or on Podbean, iTunes, YouTube and more. You can also follow us on Facebook at Flintlocks and Fireballs or Twitter on at Flintlocks DND. Fair seas and natural twenties. No Kraken storm or spell we fear, so come and sail with us my dear.